hello everybody so as i'm filming this video i am realizing that there's going to be two parts to this video maybe three maybe four but right now there's only two and um the first part is going to be me unboxing the wallet the Lou wallet and then the second part is going to be me a uh, review of what's no a review of this bag and what's in it so yeah a breaking news is on attention a breaking news is on hello everybody so back from work um work attire but do i have an unboxing for you please stay tuned i do want to give some credit to marquise lv i think her name is um beautiful girl she has a gorgeous collection she's a bad um i'm gonna post a video that she has about her wallets and you can watch that because this wallet that i'm about to unbox for you guys is brand spanking brand spanking new all right i haven't seen nobody on youtube um do any tutorials on it and um i think i wore this i swear i never wear these scrubs because they're a little tight still i mean um i am losing more and more weight i definitely want to make a video okay off subject all right just get to the unboxing just get to the unboxing so we got it um you can probably tell by the name of this video what it is what it hers my room is a disaster we just got back from disney and um there's everything's a mess but you already know the title of it my hair is looking very nice today it's weird because i straightened it last weekend so it takes like a few days to cooperate. No, I strained it on Sunday. Today's Friday. And I washed it today for the first time. And it takes a few days. But today it looks... Look. I, I didn't even try to do anything. I didn't try. You know, I just washed it. Looks good. Alright, anyways. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look how beautiful. Should definitely do. Damn, you know what? I should have wore foundation. I like touched up on my lips, you know, before the video and a little bit of mascara, but, um, I don't know, I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about. Look how good. Definitely take a picture like this. Hold on. All right. I was just taking selfies with this. Okay, guys, we're going to do this together. We're going to enjoy this unboxing together they always do it so pretty you know what i don't even want to all right literally just opening it with you guys and it's called the lou wallet oh my god i'm just looking at the placement of everything oh look how pretty that placement is this is called the lou wallet pretty sure it's brand spanking new um i haven't seen there's a pocket here and it has yes it has the pockets here i wasn't sure if it had the pockets there and it has a pocket here great so it's like the Ompron leather one clara wallet c-l-e-a wallet so it's like that one but canvas and it has the reverse monogram canvas here the pocket here the little zip Oh my so, god, what is that? Open it. Oh my god! It. What is that? PF Blue Reverse, I don't know. That's the code number M81461. If you want to screenshot that, I don't know. And then coated fabric, exterior, interior, Vachetta leather. Really? The inside is with shutter leather. Uh, I wonder if I can get it monogrammed. Oh, made in France? Okay. I don't really care what my pieces are made. I know some people do, but I don't. Oh, I'm so happy. So this is the bag that I've been carrying. I know, look at her. She's such a badass bitch. I do feel like there's like a little indent in here. But um, 
this was like my second exchange of this bag so by the time the third one i was like all right zippers are good pocket is good you know like i'm not gonna complain for little indents but with all the fakes around the world this probably looks like a fake bag to some people but you know what i don't really care um i can every time i make a video i feel like i can go on and on and on about a million subjects I need to just make more videos so I can keep up because right now I feel like I have not too much to talk about. Like I have so much to talk about, so much to catch up on. But because I have a, let me go get it. I have a Burberry wallet and it fits perfectly. The other one is long. I love how like smooth it fits like boop. Oh, I love her. I love that there's a side pockets because um, I know she was looking at the Juliet wallet. The Juliet wallet does not have these pockets and this one does. So you can fit a few cards in here. I, I would probably fit like two. I want to put pictures behind here, like pictures of my boys. And um, well, maybe I could put a picture of my boys here. I actually wanted to keep my debit card there because it's the one I mostly use. Let me see, what do I got here? Yeah, my debit card. Fits perfect. You could definitely fit another one in there, but I'm not going to stretch out this pocket. I really don't want to. And then the inside I have my driver's license. Oh, moving right into this wallet, guys. Not even playing. Another one. Credit cards. I definitely want to get this monogrammed um, for your bills. Oh, and then you can also fit cards here. Great freaking wallet. This is going to be a forever wallet. I already can tell. I'm so happy with this purchase. So, so happy with my blue wallet. I think they have different colors i'll double check i'll post them right here but this is oh it smells so good this is um this is the wallet i chose actually maybe i should just keep id there because or maybe a picture of my boys i don't freaking know how i'm gonna play it but i am so excited to play around with it and figure out how exactly i'm gonna do everything so yeah, so that's my, the debit card I've used the most. So my D cards. And yeah, it's looking real pretty. Thank you guys so much for watching this five minute video. Oh, you want to do a what's in my bag real quick? Because I love those videos. So let's, hold on, I'm cleaning up the pull out box. Let's do a what's in my bag real quick. Oh, should I do perfume of the day? Let's do perfume of the day. Perfume of the day, going on theme, spell on you. I can't explain what it smells like, but it smells expensive. I freaking love it. I smell it all day on me. And um, yeah, so the wallet that I was using is this Burberry one. This one is definitely lambskin. I don't know the name. I mean the color name but the inside is pink and i just like when i saw this at the store i actually got this at the outlet store in woodbury commons the ones upstate new york and um when i saw this wallet on the stand or whatever on the table it just spoke to me like when i opened like you know some luxury items they just speak if you know you know if you don't you don't but this one spoke um this was my travel wallet so i have like some passport ids or whatever in here and some credit cards but it doesn't fit in here what is that oh my god what is I'm that i treat my shit like shit shit like shit all right so this is scam scam skin this is lambskin leather um super soft smells amazing still to this day i've had this wallet for a few years now um it's a great wallet i mean i guess i could make it fit by like take taking the important stuff and putting it in here but even then like in this bag it doesn't go you know you don't like forcing stuff that doesn't need to be forced 
um i am on a weight loss journey so when i lose 100 pounds i'm buying myself my boss bay bag and it's definitely going to be a Louis Vuitton unless it's an hermes 2424 but who's got that type of money girl so yeah here it is i forgot what i was talking about oh i was gonna do a what's in my bag so if you want to keep watching if you want to see what is in this bag just keep watching all right so i do want to do like a little review on this handbag but might as well while we're on here um so this is a, a boy it b-o-i-t-e champagne i don't know i'll write the name oh right there so that's this bag um long story short about this handbag in particular is that First, I got the mini tiny backpack in Ampriant leather, right? I got it, received it, and it was like that picture right there. So then I went to the store and I went, hey, you know what bag I really want? This one. Are you able to order it for me? And my essay was like, yeah, no problem. I'm like, oh, awesome, because it's online and sold out. She's like, yeah, we, can, we have it in stock, whatever, I can order it for you. So she ordered it for me. It came in with a button this button missing so i was like hey that button's missing." i'm like looking at it in the store i'm loving it kissing it hugging it and then i see that it's missing a button on the stripper pole a button on the stripper pole a button on the zipper pole god what is wrong with my head a button on the zipper pole <laughs> a button on the stripper pole no a button on the zipper pole so um She's like, oh, we're definitely, we can't sell it to you. You know, we'll give it back. You know, we'll get you another one. So she gets me this one. And I see, you see how like it's like dense? Honestly, by then I just wanted the bag. So I didn't care. And now it kind of bothers me. Only because, it only bothers me because I feel like because all of the amounts of fakes there are out there. All right, the amount of fakes that there are out there, it um, definitely may kind of looks like it could be fake. And you know, this is price of this bag is thirty one hundred when I bought it, so with tax thing came out to thirty five, thirty four or something. But remember, I had a tiny backpack money, so it came out to a thousand something. Whatever. Well, this this bag cost. 3000 over three grand so it's a fucking expensive bag um one thing i do love about it that it can be used as this is definitely like crossbody like mom bag like a bougie ass fucking mom bag and then this one sorry so you can't see this one has these um this like a uh, buckle type of thing so i can if I wanted to, so if I wanted to, it has these um, holes all the way to here, right? So if I wanted to, I can stop it right there, right? It like this. I can. I don't know why in my head. I think that's like the cutest way to carry a bag and if I wanted to I can I could like double strap it so this can go up here up and around can I double I thought it could double yeah I can double all right I guess not wait it always made sense in my head. I thought I was able to do that. Make it into a thing. What the hell is that? Oh, this a bag like that. Like the other um, Boyette bag. So I, I'm pretty sure Boyette means like hat bag. You know, those um, suitcases that were made for the hats. 
They're kind of like circled like this. So that's where the inspiration came from for this bag. Pretty sure. Please correct me if I'm wrong, if I'm talking smack. Um, yeah. And I never wear it like that. I'm a chunky. So on me, this is cross... So on me cross body... So on me, crossbody goes right here, like under my boob, right? And I catch myself like resting my arm like this sometimes. <laughs> and I hate wearing it on this side. I like wearing it. I don't like wearing it on that side. I like wearing it on this side on purpose. Like, because I feel like the, the tag is a little like bougie, like, oh, look at me. But this way it's like, oh, it's like casual and um fits what i need love it so let's do a what's in my bag because oh what else can i talk about this bag what are the details i'm gonna get better at this i swear so this bag also comes with this luggage tag and it has lv right there um you can take it off if you want it so it has this blank paper here and um it has two zippers i'm surprised it didn't come with the lock you would think that it would at this price point but this bag didn't come with the lock um something worth mentioning here i got the flower patterns gorge now let's see what's inside because i like seeing what's in other people's purses on top of my makeup case so first thing that popped up is a receipt from the post office. I actually need this because it has a tracking number on it. I just saw something on Poshmark. So hold on to that. Gum. Because headphones. And I have this ratchet ass ghetto ass tape that keeps on breaking. Gum. I mean Headphones. What's going on with my brain? No idea. No idea. Pepsi. Because my stomach fucking sucks. Lipstick that I'm wearing today. Myrrh. It's a gorgeous color. It's my natural color, I feel like. Um, wallet that we just did a review on. I don't have anything in it because I literally just put it on my bag. Um, keys with Gumby because he's the star of the show and um, he knows what you did. Gumby saw. Eyebrow pencil. Anastasia. I don't ever use that color. I ever use that thing. But I have it in my bag to use it. Is that it? That's it. That is it. So the inside is a suede microfiber, suede material. And there it says, can you read it? Does it say where it's made? Made in France. Yo, I got a lot of made in France pieces. I think all my bags, everything Louis Vuitton that I have is made in France. Let's see where this was made. Does it say? I don't think it says. Should I tell you where it's made? Does this fit? No. You see, like, so I have, no, I have the PM. I have the PM never full. Um, and I love that bag. I just wish... I can like wear crossbody also because a lot does fit in there. So, like I said before, I mentioned that when I lose 100 pounds, I am going to buy myself my bag. It's going to be my bag that I'm going to wear every day, all the time, six times a day. So, we're going to do that. And I also would like to make a video speaking about my weight loss journey and how's it going. So far, I think I've lost 88, 88 pounds, 38 pounds. Um, I think more. Let me do the math right now. 
So I started, actually the highest I've ever seen the scale at was 311.4. Yesterday I was 258.2. So that's a total of 53 pounds. And um, if you want me to make a video on myself and how my weight loss journey is going, and I have a bunch of pictures that I've been taking of myself videos, let me know. I feel like that would be a fun motivational video for me to do. And um, as you guys know, I started this channel as a weight loss journey channel, and um, it's been a progress, and I think I'm finally getting a hang on eating correctly. There aren't as many urges, and when there is urges, I just do it. I am um, trying to be better at that, obviously, but for the most part, I don't want to eat like shit anymore because I don't want to feel like shit anymore. So if you guys want to are interested in that, if there's one person <laughs> to thumb this up, because I know I don't really get like a lot of views, but I know some people who watch and I appreciate every single one of you who watch my, my chat, my videos. And um, yeah, let's just keep it positive and keep it beautiful and keep it you know good vibes good energy and that's it i love you guys take care time to go to the gym motherfuckers